Hey guys, today I want to start a Shop My Stash series and you are inside my bathroom because I thought that you would rather see my makeup drawers rather than my face. So I managed to clear out one, well, calling it one shelf, not enough space. So I still have some stuff over there. So this is going to be my um, Shop My Stash place where the products will go. <laughs> well, English. I want to do it so that it's very easy to focus on the products, easy to see the stuffs, and also I want it to be like a very practical amount of products so that I'm not overwhelmed and I'm not like saying, oh, you know, I didn't really use this product. So I'll just like, because I pull too many, I'll just continue pulling more and continue working on like an increasing amount of mountain of products. That's not, that's not what I want. My plan is to do it like a maybe one to two weeks swap over. So I'll use the product for at least one week, maybe two, maybe three weeks and then I'll swap it over. I'll be very practical. Okay, so let's just come over to this side here, which is my new in drawer, which is how I managed to clear out the shelf there by squashing my brushes here. So whatever that's new in is squashed on this side. So this is for the hair, so that's not it. And then behind that is like a refar tool for the face. So those are like skincare and hair care, but this is one product that is kind of related to makeup. So I'm going to put this over here, and this one is from Face Republic. Uh, it's over there because I'm like testing it. I've been testing it every single day. So I want to start using this as my sun essence even more. Purity Sun Essence SPF 50 plus. So this guy will sit here. We're going to okay, this is sunblock, so I don't need to look at that part. But I have primers here and then foundations. I'm just gonna bring everything down. Alright, so these are all my primers, and since this is my first shot my stash, I'm gonna treat myself well. I'm going to use the more expensive ones. Yeah. <laughs> So definitely not this one because I've been using that a lot and this one is too oily um, unless I'm going to pair it with a matte foundation which I don't really think I want to. So it's either these two. Yeah, so I'm probably going to pick this one. Yes, this is my choice. Bare Minerals Good Hydration Silky Face Primer. There's no point in saving, saving for the special day. Just use it, you know. So this one is going to be my primer choice. Alright, wonderful. These are all the foundations that I have which isn't a lot. I feel like I've been using cushion foundations for a while, so definitely going to pick from some of this. Uh, and I'm probably... Okay, this is the one that's more matte. So no, these two are more matte. Probably just going to... I'll use this one. Self-coating. Let's see. Never be the same liquid foundation. And I just have mine in the shade medium light. Uh, I tried this out daily for a review, and I feel like I want to use it even more. So I'm going to put this in. Well, looking at concealers, I only have these two over here. And honestly, they kind of look the same. My husband feels that they look the same too. And I can never tell which is which shade anyway without looking at the bottom. So I'm just going to, well, be random. This guy will just be shoved to the back. And then I'll just pick the other one to put in my downstairs. This one is shade 01. See, and I thought this was shade 02. I thought it looked darker, but you really cannot tell. So that went down. And then I have these three that um, I call them special colouring stuff. They are beside my foundations and primers because they are a step that I need to do before my makeup. No, before my powder. So that's why they are here. So they are like the liquid stuff. Like this one is illuminating, this one is blush, and then this one is under eye brightener. So I'm only going to pick one because I feel that these things are like an extra step for me. And if I don't put it in the shop my stash, I will never use it. So I'm, I'm just going to pick the under eye brightener, make the makeup look better. <laughs> Go down and show you, this is how it looks like for now, everything I can see easily. I might have to rearrange when I get more stuff in. Uh, so let's see, powders, I actually only have these three here. So for powders, I'm actually going to pick just a good old compact powder from Collection Lasting Perfection, just like a compact powder. Oh, okay, and then now we can move up to the colourful stuffs. I only brought down my singles because I was just thinking for my first time, honestly, it's just more fun for me to pick from the singles instead of a face palette. Also, a bit less overwhelming. <laughs> so this, there's no no organisation here. Whatever that fit in here, whatever that didn't fit in here, it's just like one stack. So uh, I think I want to use my favourite highlighter. One of this, not this one, this one. See the packaging is the same, I can't tell. This is my favourite highlighter from Ila Masca. And this one is in the shade Diety. And let me show you. This is how it looks like. I love it. So I'm just going to treat myself. This is what I'm going to be using. And that's how it looks like. 
uh, well not a very great swatch but you can kind of see it <laughs> okay so this one I got my highlight I need to make sure to just pick one blush and one bronzer okay bronzer honestly I have no choice I only have one like sim sim single compact bronzer everything else is inside the palette and this is already broken this is Innisfree it's just a dual and it's a highlight let's just swatch the highlight for the fun of it why not and then this one is the bronzer oh which finger did I swatch the highlight with this one huh they actually look quite similar but this is way more powdery and more white uh well since it's inside a project pen I need to make sure to also just use that highlight once can't really see the bronzer color at all it's very subtle which is why I like it Okay, one last finger for just the blush. Those are out of the way. For blush, okay, I didn't pick the 3CE uh, Velvet Liquid Blush. So now I can pick a 3CE one because this is actually new in. I haven't used this at all. It's the 3CE Blush Blusher. Hmm? What kind of English is that? Last time, you can see everything is brand new. I haven't even touched the brush. <laughs> okay, so what finger? Okay, I'm just going to use this finger. Oh wow, this is very velvety. I haven't even swatched it yet. So we're gonna swatch it here. And that is our blush color. Well, it just looks pink, right? So looks baby doll pink, but it looks like it blends in pretty well. So I'm going to test this out. Still on the second shelf, we're just gonna ignore all the face palettes because we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palettes. Ooh, what happened? Okay, so for the eyeshadow palettes, it's just this one level. It's fully stacked. And I was thinking I cannot use the 3CE palette because I already picked a 3CE uh, face stuff. So I don't want to pick another 3CE powder. Instead, I'm thinking I have like a few brands that I have more products from, like this green color one, which is Pixie. So I'm going to pull them out with a lot of difficulty, with a lot of sound. So I'm just going to pull them out and then show you guys close up. I'm going to pick one of them and then also pull down this one, which is all the... Um, uh, single eyeshadow glitters and all the eye stuff, like eyebrows, mascara. This is exactly why I need to do shop my stash because everything is stacked upon each other, and it's just like a every time I pull something out, it's so dangerous. <laughs> so nothing happened to anybody, and I managed to pull these two out. And let's see. So this one is more neutral, and then this one is like way more fun. Uh, since I did not pull a face palette, because I have some face palettes that have shades that I would solely use as eyeshadow, so I'm going to go for the more colorful ones because it's definitely going to take longer to finish using each shade. This one is in Reflex Light, and I know that the last time I used this and never ever touched it again was more than one year ago when I went on my honeymoon. I know I brought this, you can see like it has been used, and then uh, I never touched it after that. So it has been more than one year since this has been opened. Definitely need to pull it into the shop and stash. Gonna swatch and show you guys now. This is the top row and we have Vanilla Glitz. Wow, very powdery. <laughs> Nude Luster. And what is this? Gold Foil. Wow, okay. Okay, I think that the trick is to not take too much at once. This is Pink Luster. Yes, you see, I didn't take too much and it's quite nice. Vintage Gold and Brilliant Bronze. And I realized, oh wow. Uh, these three shades, I think no problem at all. This uh, palette has 12 shades, which means it's going to take one to two weeks for me to do an, another rotation because I want to make sure I use every single color. Now we have this one, which is a funny name, 3D Peach, and then Auburn Blaze and Copper Penny. Now we have Antique Bronze, Chestnut Glimmer, and Cocoa Glaze. Oh, okay, so I'm very happy with the color family here. This are what I'm working with, this rotation. Looking at the amount of shades inside the eyeshadow palette, I think it's clear that I will not be pulling any single shadows. <laughs> so I'll pull those single shadows when I'm using a smaller palette. So now let's just ignore this part, but this part over here. Okay, I'm just going to take everything out. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, mascara. Let's do mascara first because they are the biggest tube. Ah! Okay, easy to see. I only have two choices here. And, oh, everything that I'm showing you, I forgot to mention in the beginning, is just the open stuffs, which means stuffs that I need to finish within whatever day right there, like one month, and uh, one year to three months, uh, three years. What is wrong with me? Yes, everything that you see here, I need to finish within one to three years. Uh, so yeah, let's just do it together. These are just the opened ones. I'm going to be picking the Anastasia, oh, uh, what is this, mascara? What is the name of this? Oh, they don't have a name for it, which is fine. It's just Lash Brack. 
volumizing mascara. I got this inside look fantastic Evan calendar. And then next up, let's see eyeliner. Okay, eyeliner definitely I need to pick this one because I'm in Singapore. This is the only thing that will work. Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner. So I'm going to be picking a liquid eyeliner and I want to pick a pencil eyeliner. This one is like highlighting. No. This one or this one or this one. This one I've been using a ton so I'm going to not pull that. So it's either these two. I don't want a, another eyeshadow color so I'm going to pick this one that is only on one side which is the Diago Dalla Palma Eye Pencil. I need an eyelash color for sure. So this one is my heated eyelash color. All of my normal eyelash colors, uh, I have no space for them. So I just put them in bottom shelf of this like pull out drawer which you can't see. But all my new makeup leaves. So that one. And also this is color for eyeshadow again. I have three eyebrow pencils. Pencils? I say that a bit weird. Just going to pick this one because I'm tired of this thing. <laughs> I want to get it out but I still have so much product. So I'll just give you a swatch of this eyebrow pencil. It is a very nice color, grey in color, but it's an eyebrow pencil. Oh, actually you can see some color. So I'm going to pick this black looking one <laughs> for my eyebrow brushing to blend out the color. I'll show you the eye pencil. Just a, you know, standard black. Thought I'll just show you the new makeup. It is like stacked layers upon layers. We won't be picking anything from the uh, brand new unopened ones. Okay, we are going up, which is this tree over here. Uh, those are makeup fixing sprays, but they're not actually like to fix. Some of them are honestly just to hydrate. Those two are actually brand new, and I still have way more mist, but I just had no space, so only these two came up. I don't know why that happened this way. So I'm trying to finish this so that I can use this for other things. I'm just gonna use this to, I don't know, refresh my makeup throughout whenever I want. And all these are the lip products. I'm going to drag them down and then we can pick together. Alright, this is everything, right? Yeah, <laughs> everything is here. First of all, let me pick out all my uh, project pen items. Just a specific lipstick project pen. Oh, just nice, these six here. So these six are inside my project pen. We will be working on these six. I want to drag them down to the bottom so that we don't need to look up. <laughs> So I feel like I've been wasting a lot of time just like picking products and just like looking at each other, each other, looking at each product, thinking when did I use this? Did I use this often? Should I use this today? And like, that's why I'm doing the shop my stash so I know the products that I'm picking, uh, I haven't used it for that week or I need to work on for that week. So yeah, let's see. Uh, okay, we have those over there but let's just ignore those. The color choices also do not matter. So let's see, I use a pixie. I pick a pixie one for eyeshadow. So, oh, but I also pick pixie for my eye character. But I pick one 3C only. So my limit is going to be two per brand. I want to pick a 3C one. Is this a, yes, I just got this in actually. And I also just got these two new ones in right at the back. Yeah, they're kind of stuck. But they're the transparent packaging. But I really want to try this more. Style Landa Blurring Liquid Lip. And I have mine in the shade Nude Scene. This is how it looks like and it says that it is blurring and the packaging is just so velvety too. Let me just show you. It's very strange. It's very moussey, very velvety but it's also very thick so I'm trying to spend more time with this product. I feel like I haven't spent enough time with this product to know fully about it yet because when you put it on your lips, it really blurs your lips which is so strange. When you smile, you look, your lips look absolutely perfection. <laughs> It looks so perfect but when your lips are in the natural state you know like when you're not smiling or not moving at all you can see all the lines it settles into all the lines so i want to test it more well it looks really thick so let's just test it more next up oh i've been thinking about this ever since uh i unboxed it from my um, box that was inside the warehouse just been thinking like i really want to pull this out again it's from burberry it's the number 17 dark rosewood liquid lip velvet. So not the best choice because both are velvets. Hopefully, yeah, the color looks different. So I guess I can pull both. I really want to try this again. Haven't used it in a long while. Got this from Look Fantastic again. So that is the color. Uh, so now since we have all these like tubes, we're definitely going to be picking a bullet lipstick. And I want something more hydrating. Okay, so I have this four over here and they are from this brand. I don't know whether it is it Singapore brand, but it seems like it is. So support local 
it is like a color me happy that's the brand like a hydrating color you know and they are like a fake dior packaging which is so funny so i'm just going to pick the nudist color which won't um clash with this which is this one is the nudist because i don't want any more like color or any browns or any maroons yep it's hydrating it is a nude it is called nude beauty well right in the name over there that's the color so i think this is a pretty good color family and if i think about it i currently have nine colors over there so i should probably not pick any more because 10 will be overwhelming okay this took way too long and my husband has been waiting for a very long time and he has cookies and i'm gonna go eat that now so this one is my shop my stash uh, makeup drawer so i only need to focus on whatever is on this first drawer i don't need to think about whatever is up there i managed to oh my brushes are still on that side but i managed to put my powders up there because I did some reshuffling which is why it took so long <laughs> but now i have everything here easy to reach for even when i'm not putting on any makeup i will reach for this and nobody is stacking on anybody so that's awesome and over here i still have space at the back but like it's like wasted space i don't have anything to put there but everything is in their own individual one you know and i can easily pick out easily see what is here so this is my first um first one in the series first rotation hopefully you enjoyed it and hopefully i can keep up with this maybe you're interested to do this for your own collection too and i'll see you in the next one bye